Okay, guys, here's the thing. I couldn't do this job uh, while positioning camera and moving everything and just trying to get everything, you know, done. It's been taking like a week for me, a guy that's never done this before. And that's the male lady, so the dog's barking. Uh, it's taken a week. I'm sure, you know, mechanics do this within like a few hours, you know, maybe an afternoon. It shouldn't take me <laughs> five days to do this. And that is because I'm doing something I've never done before. And I'm also trying to record it, you know, while putting this camera in different spots so that you guys can see it. And you got to go under the car. You got to go over the car. You got to work in different areas to get the parts done. So let me just recap where I'm at now, and then I'll try to record the rest, okay, as best I can, because it's become pretty hard, all right, so I'm going to move this over here real quick, and let you guys see the peacock, there it is, peacock right there, and um, I've been trying to basically get this done today, so here's what I did yesterday, I got the timing belt in, I changed both of the little, I'm, I want to call them balancers, or just the wheels that you put the belt on. I got those two changed, so those are new. I got the seal inside the oil pump, which I, I'm pretty sure I recorded, so you guys have seen that. Uh, I've got the gasket inside the oil pump, all put, put together. I got the seal for the crank shaft on the bottom or the balancer, okay, the balancer wheel on the bottom, I got that seal pulled out and replaced. So those are where I'm at. I have put the belt back. I have put the case over the belt back. So all of those things have been done. I, honestly, I cannot do that, especially for the first time, with this camera pointing at everything and me stopping and, and setting it up and it, you know, the guys that do this on YouTube, I salute you because this is an ordeal. This is a thing. It's not like a nothing. It is a thing. It didn't just, you know, oh, you just position the camera and you just keep working. It's more like, nope, the camera doesn't want to cooperate. You know, the camera card gets full. The batteries start running now. You got to check to make sure it's still recording. It's a pain in the butt. It's like another job on top of the job you're doing that is actually, for me, an intensive job because, again, never done it before. All I've done is watch YouTube video after YouTube video of guys doing it so easily, which at this point, I got to believe it's just editing. Yeah, that, that They made it look like, oh, yeah, blah, 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 bing, 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 dun, dun, dun. Yeah, no, you guys edited the, the crap out of that to make it look right. So, that all being said... Let's get back to this as best I can. Next thing I need to do is to put that little uh, belt uh, down there where you have to crank. Where's my light? I actually had to charge all my lights. You know, power went out of the lights and it, it was just an ordeal, okay? So, I gotta crank that thing right there and I gotta push it back once I put the wheel back on the balancer. The car is fully timed. I had to do that like four times because it kept jumping a tooth. Every time I would tighten the little balancer wheel with the spring, it would like, you know, move one of the wheels just out of alignment just enough to be like, nope, can't do it that way. So what I found out was, also I saw some other dude doing it on YouTube, is you just advance the timing on both this balancer and the crankshaft up there just half a tooth not the full tooth half a tooth exactly the same forward not backwards but forward forward here and forward there pretty much exactly the same measurement as possible as, as you can do it okay once you do that this is why I had to do it four times. Uh, on the fourth time, this is what I did because I saw that what was happening was every time I was tightening the little wheel that goes up there with the little spring, it was uh, disaligning it. And I was like, I can't have that. Not by one tooth at all. So 
I forwarded this one, I forwarded the top crank, and then I tightened it, which pushed these wheels just enough to be back in time. So that once I pushed it up, the belt moved it back and moved the other one back, and then I checked everything, and you know, the crankshaft, the crankshaft was back in time on the top. I got my uh, oscilloscope and I looked in there and yup, sure enough, the little thing was where the hole was, the little notch was behind the hole and that guy is in time there. So if you can see that right down there, it's basically, everything is where it's supposed to be. So I, this cover was a nightmare to put back. Just horrible it's as bad taking it out as it is putting it back it is sucks so let's move forward here's another dilemma that i'm having which i'm just going to have to let go what's my dilemma where the freak does that screw go where does that go i checked everything i'm like where did that come out of that is really annoying i'm sorry but that is really frustrating i was like oh maybe it came out of this thing no no it didn't it didn't it's like it came out of the case and i checked everything all the screws are back for crying out loud so annoying to put those screws back in so annoying you know all the all the bolts are back i don't understand this I really don't. I don't get it. No, that, that's it. This one, that one, that one, that one, that one down there, the other ones down there. I mean, I can look. You can see it. They're all there. They're all there. I don't get it, man. I really don't. So, I'm going to assume that it must go in here. It has to go in there. Yup, that's where it goes. Hey, all right, I found it. It has to. Why is that Why is that empty, you know? So, let's put that back. We're going to get it done, guys. We're going to get this done. Coming a total All right, can I, uh, can I do this? Yay. Okay. That should do. Yay, I found the last screw or bolt of where it goes. This is going to be fun, isn't it? I got to get this belt up there. If we go on to this. Is it even? <laughs> no, of course not. Okay, so why don't we start off with it in the back. Like this. Where it goes. There you go. Now, let's see. Do I have to do it from the top? Let's find out. Now, this is not, uh, this doesn't look like fun times. No, sir. Let me see if I can grab it. None of this, by the way, guys, feels like fun times at all. None of this feels like fun times, I just gotta tell you. I thought it'd be cool, like, oh, look at these guys, they make it look so easy. You just get, you know, get the stuff, have the right tools, and then everything just works out. That is absolutely not what happens. Okay. 
fine. You want to live there? Live there. <sighs> okay, so let's see, how am I going to do this? Okay, had to take a little break there for dog chasing. Okay, so we got the first belt on <laughs> with no easy effort. Let's do the second belt. Oh, that's oh, okay. I was about to put the old belt on it. All right. So a couple, a couple jobs that I will revisit: changing the seal up here. But I need a tool where it's like a chain that holds the gear so that I can unfasten it and everything stays still. That's what I need. I'm not going to attempt it without that tool, so I'll go get that tool at Harbor Freight. Um, that's one of the tools. Ugh. And then after I do the seal, the, and also a seal puller. And the seal placer, like you, you, it's like a little cup that you screw on and then it kind of puts it in real evenly that's what I want to do all right so it's this way this is the way okay so yep, this is the new belt this goes over the alternator I believe the power steering and the crank shaft so Put this light this way so I have room. Mm -hmm. This isn't working that way, is it? Okay, so what I want to do is try to figure out a way to slip this past this. There we go. This one was a lot easier than the other one. Okay, well, sort of easier. That's it. Okay. So, let's uh this one seems a lot easier. Let's just say this seems a lot, this belt seems a whole lot easier, which is good news because I'm going to have to eventually get back to this. I'm going to have to take this belt off. I'm going to have to take the top cover out and I'm going to have to do the water pump, which is underneath this alternator. So I'll have to take the brackets out. Please God, let me just be able to take the alternator out. This case, which is a pain in the butt and uh, remove the alternator and of course this belt but not that bottom belt so all that stays there I just have to get rid of those cases and then I can get to the water pump it doesn't seem like too much of a bad deal but you know it is gonna be a pain in the butt 
12. 12 it is. And this time, we get the luxury of using the little power ratchet. If I could find it. Oh, that's the wrong way. Good. Yeah, all well, too good. Oh yeah, that is. Well, maybe a little bit more. This nice and tight. Woo! Let's tighten this. That way you don't move at all. Um, let's tighten this. I think that's a 14 though. Okay. That's not gonna move. Okay, that's not gonna move. Belts are all back. <laughs> that mount is gonna be a pain in the buttocks. So, let's do the mount. What I need to do next is to take out, this is the mount that goes there. Okay. There you go, now. This goes here. Oh, I see. That was a separate bolt. Now, I want to leave it a little loose. Why? So that I can move the mount in there and not be so painful of the move. Okay. Let's see here. Now it goes like this. Now it goes like that. Hold on. So it goes like that. Um. Seriously? Wait. Let's see here. Let's take this thing out. After a while. Ooh, let's not lose those. Thank you for not falling into oblivion. There you go. Let's go on these things. Okay, that's not fall. There's our nuts. But this goes here, here. Weird. Okay. We'll figure it out. Just there like that. We'll figure it out. Leave that up there. First thing is just let's put the mount in. This is a pain in the butt by itself. Okay. There you go. Come on. You can do it. Fine. Let's do this. What a pain in the butt. That's gonna suck. Okay. So this little rubber thing's gotta go inside this mount. Something like this. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see if we can do it this way. Come on, easier way. Yes. Yes. Take a magnet and 
if I just screw it on there a little bit. Oh, come on. There you go. Right on. Now, let's just torque that in there. Okay, so. Listen. Dang. Chill. Ah. Come on. You can do it. If it wasn't for these pipes, you could do it. Ah. So let's do this again. So here's the deal. I'm not going to bring the camera in there because, I, like I said at the beginning, I'm done with the positioning of the camera. You're going to just have to trust me. This is a very awkward bolt to get in. And that's it. You're going to get the view that you're going to get and understand that it is a real pain in the ass. A real pain in the ass to get that bolt, which I have not gotten, because of these two, these, this, and this, they are the worst in the way of all of it. All right, so, and this, that bolt has always been real awkward to deal with. All right, is this even a 14? Let's find out. You son of a gun. It's not even a 14. Even harder now because of... I was able to do it because of the magnet. There you go. Now that is in. That is in. Low. Okay. Or no, this doesn't go there. This goes there. And it's not low enough. <laughs> okay, so that's this must go here then. Yep. Yep. Engine's not high enough for this? Yes. Engine's not high enough for this? This is too thick for that. What is going on? What is going on here? How did these get all so messed up? Yeah, but that means that there's a missing, there is a missing part, is there? I had it in my hand. Why am I doing it this cocky way? Because if you ever try to put a mountain like this, you will know how hard it is to get that thing in there, lifting engines, trying to slip it into that nut. It is absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. So, I had a nut in my hand and I was almost convinced that it was the nut that I just put in. You know the messed up part is that that this bolt should not or socket should not have should not have come out because that's a lock like that. Okay, and this 
this is what? A 19, and you think that's too big? Too big. Let's see here. Sorry, bro. I don't think that that is the bolt for you. I mean... I don't think that that is the bolt for you. Also... Come on, don't freaking strip it. Look at it, it's like it's stuck, it's not coming out. Alrighty, let's try it a different way. Oh, I see, it is too big, okay. So 19 is too big, huh? I don't know, because there's no 18. Okay. Let's see here. There it is. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so let's not strip it because I know how funny games this thing plays all right so i gotta i gotta wonder yeah let's see no let's just go here you'll have to lift up the engine Kind of hand torque that, huh? I don't feel comfortable. If something goes wrong and that strips, that's it. I'd rather take a little bit of time and do it this way. This is the one that's hard, see? Once you got those two bolts in on the bottom, huh? This is the bolt that turns the hardest to try to get in. But once you got all three of these in, then I'm gonna pray that I can get the mount. Oh yeah, this is gonna work. This is the right one. Yep, it just uh, seated itself better. up a little bit. Okay. Let's see if that did any help. going on here it's the only one that fits there bro yeah see how this uh got itself in position now Oh, 
Oh, good. You got close enough. Oh, yeah. It caught the thread there. Good. What is going on here? <laughs> okay. Those are tins. Yes. Everything is where it's supposed to be, actually. This has been very difficult. Okay, so that is what? 14 right next to this amount of annoyance right here this see kicking it out the whole time okay Wow, that's because of all the brake or power steering fluid. This thing is not cooperating at all. Let's see if you cooperate this way. That still has a few centimeters to go. Holy mackerel, bro. Okay. Whew. Holy crap. That shouldn't be that tight. But it's still. Okay. You want you want to play? Let's play. And to bust out the big boy. That's the big boy. One of the big boys. Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah. Much better. Maybe that was just too short. Okay. Oh. Now it really fought. Oh yeah, that's it. Yes, because there's a little washer underneath it. Okay, we're gonna call that good. Let's see. That's an important 
корма. That mouth ain't going nowhere, sir. And everything, including the most annoying nut, is all mounted. Okay.